Hello, welcome to Board Games with Niravas. I'm Joseph, and today I'm here with Draco to play a two-player game of Nations the Dice game with the new expansion Unrest. So this is going to be really fun. I'm really looking forward to this. I have played it a few times now with friends, and I'll sign for me and Draco to go heads up in a two-player game, and you will get to see how this new expansion works. I will point out what is new and so on. So we are ready to play. I am Mongolia. Uh, now you could uh, these you can hand these out randomly or whatever. They are two sided, of course. So there's Poland on the other side. But I chose in Mongolia for myself. I will start with four dice. That's uh, different from the base game. Only four. But I do have a double sword token, a gold token from over here, and the reroll. And so I'm going to be the first player, Drak over here. He's going to be the yellow player today because he wanted to be the Vikings, of course. He likes Vikings. So he has four dice. Uh, he has a food to start with, token, a gold, and he has this new reroll token that is special. It lets him reroll and then do an action right away if he uses it instead of the normal reroll is an action, sort of. He's the second player and we are ready. We have stacked up all the tiles. We have some new stuff out here that uh, you see as well, I guess. Uh, we both start with one book that's new uh, from the normal game. We have also a bonus tile in play. These are new bonus tiles, really cool. Uh, this one, chosen randomly, you, there's five of them, so four of them will be used in each game, of course. And this one is that the last player to pass gets two points. Kind of cool. Because the first player to pass will get a benefit in every uh, era here. The first player to pass in the two-player game gets to choose one of these, an, a sword, a book, or a food, an extra one. Um, and also in, let's say, a four-player game, then the first player to pass gets to pick first, and then the second and the third, the fourth player to pass doesn't get anything. Unless there's that special event, where, where a special bonus, where you get two points for being the last player to pass, of course. We have an event tile out, we are ready to play, we have put out some tiles here randomly for the first era. And we have our dice, so let's get going. So I'm the first player, I start to roll of course, and I'll use my really ugly uh, dice tower. Uh, but it, it serves its purpose, so no matter, let's, let's, let's not look too close at it, because it's really, yeah. Okay, here we go. So I get a stone, a book, a sword and a gold. That's a mix here, mix in the start. And so, um, I think my first action will be to go for... Now the thing is, if I get an advisor now, I will cover up my gold token here. So you want to be careful with that. <laughs> That's sort of interesting. Sort of like, it's not just get an advisor now, because... I mean, Draco doesn't have that, but some of the new factions have that. So, the new nations, I would say. Uh, this is interesting. Macedonia, that's a double gold token. That's huge. Um, I think actually I will try to snag that right away. So I'll, I'll use my double sword, get Macedonia, and I'll get that double gold token. That's really cool. I like this these new double tokens. There's even a triple gold token that you can get if you're whoever it is, some other faction or nation. Okay, so that was my action. Now it's Draco, and he needs to roll first of all, of course. So let's see what he gets. And that's a book. <laughs> Fell out. And a gold, another book, and a food. And the goal of, of course, for the famine now is just one food. And Draco already have that in his token. Uh, let's see, he has some gold. Uh, well, he might. I think he wants to go for, uh, what's she called? Hypatia? So he'll pay a gold. He'll pay his uh, token to uh, get that advisor. Because then he'll get one of these special new reroll tokens. Uh, so he has two of them. That's really awesome for him. Okay, Draco is happy about that, as you can see. And so it's my turn, and uh, I have some gold now. Um, and now I, I'm, I'm going to get one of these new dice. So I'll pay you gold to get the uh, Praetorian Guard, and then I'll get a green die. This is exciting. Really cool stuff with the new dice. I'll cover up here, which means I'll lose this white one, but I get a green one. So let's roll it right away. Oh, and I get an arrest symbol right away. This green die has two of everything on five sides, and then it has the unrest. And now it's an arrest in my nation. It's it's an uprising, which means that I get limited now. The only thing I can do when it comes back to my turn is to reroll this or, spe or just waste it. I can waste it if I want to, but uh, of course I want to reroll it because there's good stuff to get there as well. So it's Draco's turn. What will he do? 
Um, well, I think he, yeah, he only has one gold, but now he will use his special thing here. So he will use the special reroll thing. To, he doesn't need this food, and I don't think he wants to have two books either. So he reroll these. Oh, a stone and a book, that's not good. And now he's, it's his action again, because he used this special one. And I assume he can just use another one now, and then it's still his action. I assume that's how it works, I mean, it makes sense. So, oh, now he got a gold, okay. So let's see, He his action was to use this, which got him another action, was to use this, which got him another action, is to pay two gold to pick up this... Uh, Confucian Academy, so he'll get a blue die, get rid of that. And here comes the blue die, and that's two stone, okay. Won't really have any use for that, but... Uh, okay, so it's my turn. And I have to reroll this, this green die. Let's use the dice tower, it's better, so you can see. And that's two food, that's nice. Um, I don't need two, but now I'm set for the food. So that was my whole action, I had to reroll that one. Draco, uh, well, he could use another sword, I guess, but now he can't reroll anymore anyway. It doesn't matter, he can't really do anything. But you know what? Draco will pass. So Draco passes and he chooses to take the sword tile. So now he has two swords and a food and he's set for the event. And when I pass, I will get two points because of the tile there, but I won't get to pick any of these. Okay, so it's my turn. I still have a bunch of gold and so on. I want to keep playing. Uh, I have a reroll as well. Um, with three gold. Uh, they want another green die. I mean, they are good, but they're also a bit risky. Um, I think I do. Hmm. So you know what, I'll spend a sword, I don't care about that event trial I think, so I'll, I'll take Babylonia, which will give me, wait, I don't need, yeah, 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 I'll get another gold token, so basically I have so many gold tokens now that I don't really, really need to worry about uh, yellow dice, I guess, I mean, I have a bunch of gold here, uh, what do I do more, more uh, okay, I will go for, okay, let's do this, I'll pay three gold, to get the um, hanging gardens and that takes one stone to build so I'll pay a stone I built it and I get a uh, food token so now the food is set for this uh, round and then I don't need this food here so I'll use my reroll token to reroll this green die hopefully I can get two swords instead oh I got two gold oh well that's not bad okay so let's use three gold then to grab this silk road, cover up this, get rid of a white one, but I'll get a new green die. And once again, I can hope to get two swords. So this is what I really like about this game, that you keep, it keeps, you know, the wheel keeps spinning. You do stuff that gets you new dice, so you get to roll them right away, you use them, so yeah, it's really fun. And that's an uprising, now it doesn't really matter, because Dracula's passed anyway. Oh, another one, and two gold that I can't really use. I would, would I have to, I mean two books or two uh, swords would have been nice. Nothing I can do. Okay, so I'll pass and because of the special event I'll get two points for that, being the last player to pass. Then we score books, we each get a book, so nothing happens, none, no points scored. Uh, we go to famine, we both can do the food, so we both get a point. And then we have player order, Draco has two swords, so he'll take over the first player. And so it's the war, and Draco beats it, and he gets one point. So I, I'm in the lead with one point after the first era. So that's okay, I guess. But Draco has really good with the reroll stuff there. I have my green dice, though, which is... Could be potentially be really good, and I have a bunch of gold tokens. So, okay, so I'll set it up for the next era, and we'll be right back. And so, by the power of the pause button, we are back and ready. We have the second age, 
And uh, this one is interesting, a wonder up there that lets you get to double sword token. Um, and I think that's the only, oh no, no, the advisor Genghis Khan is also new. He has the, both the normal reroll and the special reroll. And we have a new event, uh, which comes from the expansion as well. So there you see, you get four food, you get four points. If you have two swords, you get two points. It's different, uh, normally it's just the same. You always get two points in the second age, right? But here it's different. Uh, also, the new bonus tile for this round is this one. And this one is means that uh, whatever tile you take here, it's worth two of that stuff. So that's really cool. The first one to pass will get two of something of this. That's, I mean, you can take two swords and just finish the war, right? Uh, it's really powerful. So now we really want to look to uh, be the first one to pass. But Drakul is the first out to go because he's the first player now. So he will roll. And two stone, gold and a sword. Um, and he can do his combo with these if need be. Let's see, what does Drakul want though? Um, I mean, he wants new dice, right? Uh, yeah, I think he wants a yellow one. So. He'll pay a gold token and a gold die to pick up the windmill. And he'll cover up the slave church. <laughs> he'll lose this, get a yellow one, and let's roll those, and that's a food and a sword. Okay. So it's my turn, and I'm going to roll my dice. And that's two. Ooh, this is nice. Two books. Uh, I have three food already and a book. And I do have, I mean, I have the gold here in tokens, so I actually have four food here for the four points. So let's keep those aside. That's just great. Um, Battle Alice books as well. But I do want to pick up something here. Um, there's a lot of wonders out. I would like to have that Genghis Khan, actually. Uh, I think. Maybe a blue die would a blue die wouldn't be bad either. Let's pay three gold uh, to take the madrasa. And so uh, let's see. I'll cover this up. I have to get rid of a white die, so I'll take the book here. I'll get a blue one, and we'll roll that, and that's a book and a gold. Okay. So it's Draco's turn, and he doesn't have any gold. I think he will do his real stuff then. Mm. No, no, no. I think first of all, Draco will use the sword to claim England because then he will get a uh, gold token. So that's not bad. He needs more gold. Um, what do I do? Well, I think I think I might have two gold. I have a reroll. Uh, I have the food, I have the swords, so that's covered, but with two gold, yeah, let's, why not, let's spend two gold then, to pick up the guild hall, cover this up, lose the white die, but get the yellow at the same time, and we roll over here, and we got a food and a gold, that I don't really need, but I have the reroll, so let's try to see if I can get something else out of those. And it's Draco's turn. I think he now he needs to reroll, right? So let's get the dice tower in here. Uh, so he'll spend one of his special ones here. He'll get rid of. Does he need stone? Um, not really. I think he'll reroll all of them. Yeah. Okay, so he now he got some gold, which he likes, and uh, still stone and food. You know, if he can pass first, he will have four food. Uh, but with this gold, I think Draco will pick up... He will spend three gold. He will pick up this... Uh, Correct des Chevaliers. It's four stone, but that's, that's a double sword. That's really great if you get that. I mean, it's like having a, a red die or even, or even better. Um, so now he needs some more stone, but he can't manage that. Okay. Uh, but it's my turn, and I think I will go for, I would reroll these two. Not sure what I want really, but, uh, yeah. Okay, I got the same stuff again. Food and a gold, so that's, uh, that's no good. Okay, Draco's turn. He is going to... 
And he can't get four. He can't get four stone this time around. He'll have to wait for the next. So he he might as well just reroll. Um, he'll use this to reroll the blue one. Hope that he gets books. And he got two books. And it's still his turn because he used a special one, which means he can pass. And he'll take this, which means he'll have four because of that special uh, bonus tile. That's worth two. So he has four. He he's okay for the food. And he also got the two books instead of having two stone that he couldn't do anything with right now. So my turn, I am pretty happy. I can't really do much uh, at all. So I'll pass as well, which, I mean, I'm a bit sad. And now how do you see the power of these new reroll tiles? I mean, Draco managed to pass first because of that. So I really love this system, how they improved it with uh, whoever passes first gets a bonus. Uh, it's just so far, so great, so great. Okay, so we go to the uh, bonus tile. There's nothing about that now because that's already in play. Uh, I'll get three books. Draco gets two, which is nice for me. Do three. Draco gets two, which means I'm ahead of him. I'll get two points. Uh, then we go to the food. We both manage the food, so we both get four points. So I'm up to nine. Draco is at six. Then we do a player order, and none of us have any swords. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. I have the double, yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm the first player again. <sighs> Almost forgot that. Okay, and then we go to the war, which I can handle because my double sword there, I'll get two points. So I'm way in the lead here for Draco. Ah, that's looking good. So, um, but I mean, Draco still have time to catch up. There's half of the game left. And we'll set up for the third H. And so we're back and we're ready for the third age and I'm the first player to act. Now let's just talk a bit about this. Here we have the double green ones, which are kind of cool. Um, we also have, let's see, is there anything other? Yeah, yeah, double green ones twice there, a uh, mix of the rest. The event tile is going to be five food uh, for five points. That's kind of cool. Or three swords for three points. And the bonus tile is whoever produces the max uh, the most books this round gets two points. It's not whoever is in the lead, it's whoever produces the most. So that's interesting. Something to go for this uh, this age. So let's roll my dice. Oh, and I got two of these uprising ones. Or the unrest, or they're actually called, the expansion is called unrest. Uh, so that means my next turn, or actually now, because now it's my turn, I roll my dice at the first minute, it's my turn. The only thing I can do is either re-roll both of them, I get to roll both of them at the same time, or put them in as a gold or something, I can trade them in for something or get rid of them. So, but I re-roll, uh, that's one and two books, okay. Well, that's okay, I guess. Yeah, so it's Draco, and he's going to roll. Let's see what he gets. So he has some food. Oh, he almost has the five food, and he has books, which is nice as well. So he's pretty much set, I guess. Uh, but he wants to pick up some stuff, of course. No gold, though. Mm. You know what, now it's the time for Draco. He will spend though, these two gold tokens uh, to get this, what is it, the pot, pot, Porosi? Porosi? I don't know. Uh, which gets him two green. He has to get rid of one white. I think he will he will get rid of one book. And he'll get two green ones. So let's roll those. And that's an un that's an unrest and two stone. So it's my turn and I have to reroll this unrest die. Over here, I got two swords. It's Draco's turn, he has to re-roll his unrest die, but he'll use a special thing here, which means he can re-roll, and then he'll get another action. And as you notice, when you re-roll these uh, unrest dice, normally you don't need to spend uh, the uh, re-roll token, but since Draco chooses to do it with this one, he actually gets another turn now. So now he can do something, and he has, he has uh, I mean, he's going for that bonus of having the most books, right? Uh, he also has the food, almost, he needs one more food. But then again, Draco wants to complete this, this wonder. So maybe it's hard to do everything at once. Maybe he should re-roll and try to get more stone. Yeah, I think he will do that. He will do this one and he'll re-roll these. 
over here and he got one more stone that won't help him but he got double sword oh that's tricky uh just need one more and now we can't reroll oh that is tricky indeed okay well it's my turn <laughs> and so uh, what do i do well, I think I have a bunch of swords, right? I have all this gold. Um, hmm. I think maybe I should go for. I think I should go for a rerolling. Should I? Um, I'm gonna. I'm, I think I will go all in on these green dice. To be honest. <laughs> this is fun. I'll just do this to try it out. So I'll pay three gold to pick up this uh, coffee house, and I'll cover up. I'll cover up this guild hall, and I'll lose these two. But I get two green ones. As this is just for fun. I don't know if it's smart to do this, but there we go. Two stone and two food that was the result there. Okay. Okay, so it's Draco's turn, and let's see. Draco is going to pass, I think. Or is he? Um, if he passes, he can get the food and he has five food. That's five points. That's huge. But then again, he's not doing anything with these. Or he could, or he could spend these to get another stone, which will let him build that wonder he's trying to build. Then you get the double sword token. He has four swords. He will score the swords and said that's three points, but yeah, and then he could take the book when he passes. I think he'll do that. It's more fun. He'll spend these two as a stone, because he can't reroll anything. And then he'll ask, that's a four, uh, four stone there. He'll finish this, which lets him get the double sword time. If I can find it. It's here somewhere. There it is. So now he has four swords. And then when he passes the next turn, he can take the book instead, so okay It's my turn because he can see that I will do a lot of stuff uh, still. I have so many gold here um, So let's see. What am I going for? I have this this books uh, have stone Well, I guess I should use the I could go for finishing the food Um. Because I realized that he will pass before me, so I won't get any of these. Uh -huh. I think I will spend one gold to pick up the Kremlin. Right, okay. And then it's Draco's turn, and he's passing, and as he's passing, he's taking the book, because that's the only one that really matters now to him. We have three books. Now it's my turn, and I'm. I'm spending three stone to finish the Kremlin, which gets me a uh, sword token. I have five swords. I'm sure to be the first player. Um, but then do I... Okay, let's do this then. Uh, I could go crazy into swords, but I don't think I want to. I want to, I want to win the book race or get the food. For sure, and three swords is enough, so I don't need. I could reroll this, and I could. Yeah, let's do this. Let's pay it to the double gold to get the uh, printing press, and cover up the silk road, which means I'll lose this green die. I have so many anyway. But I'll get two blue dice, so I roll them, and I got a book and two stone. Okay, so now I know that I will win the book race. Let's reroll the stone and the sword and try to get food and books basically. And I got swords and stone. Uh, but I will, I will keep the first player if I keep the swords and the stone won't do me any good. Uh, I could, oh, let's just spend the gold to get the Taj Mahal. I'm not sure if I will build it, but then I have it, right? Five points there. Uh, I guess I'll pass as well. And so we go to the uh, checking who got the most book, books produced. Well, I got four and Draco got three, so I'll get two points from the bonus tile there. 
Then we go to the books, I'll get four. Draco gets three. I'll get two more points for winning the book race, so I'm really ahead of Draco now. And then uh, we go to the uh, famine, and none of us can do that. We'll go to player order, I have more swords than him, so I'll still be number one here on the player order. And the war, we both beat the war, so we each get three points. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, I have double the points of Draco, so I'm starting to look a bit sad. Poor Draco. But hopefully he can catch up somehow in the last age. And we'll just uh, pause and be right back with the setup. And so we're back for the final age, the fourth one. The uh, new stuff out here is the uh, Eiffel Tower, which is 10 points, but it takes 7 stones. Uh, we ha also have Hong Kong, which is a colony, but it has 2 points. Um, let's see what else is new. Department store is just a building, but it has two points. So that's that's the new stuff. Uh, there's more, of course. Not all the tiles come out, but uh, the event tile over here is six food for six points, or four swords for four points. And now, we, whoever scores the most, uh, produces the most swords, gets two points extra from the bonus. So I'm the first player. I will start rolling. And uh, let's see. So I have oh, I have a bunch of books, a stone, food and swords and a gold. Okay, so I have a lot of stuff here to do. Uh, I guess I will start. I have so many gold tokens and so on. Um, I think well, I want to win the book race for sure. I need a bunch of stone now to do wonders. Um. But I don't think I can do, well, yeah, can I do five stones? I only have one reroll though, that's the thing. So I don't think I want to gamble on that. I have my Taj Mahal already. That takes four stone for five points. I think I would go for that. But first of all, I'll spend a gold token to pick up. No, 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 it doesn't matter. I have to cover something up. Ooh. That's tricky. <laughs> only, I mean, it's hard to only have four slots down here, right, for buildings. So, uh, I mean, I was thinking to get the department store for two points, but then again, if I do that, then I lose some dice. Um, no, let's spend, let's do this. Let's spend three gold to get Nikola Tesla. He's two points. And when I cover him, when I get the, I cover up one gold token there, I'll lose the one that I already used, so that doesn't matter. And now it's Draco's turn. We'll see what he do. He will do here first of all. So he has some gold for once. He's been really low on gold this game, which kind of has been hard for him, I think. And but now he has a bunch of gold. So what will he go for? Well, I think he will go for. Yeah, he will pay. Um, he will pay a gold. To pick up the department store for two points. He'll cover up the farm down here and lose that die, but it doesn't matter. He gets that two points, right? So that was his first turn. Now it's my turn again. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm not going to get six food. That's crazy. Uh, but I could get four swords. That's not too hard. So let's spend one sword down because I have four here. Let's spend one to pick up India for one point. And then it's Draco's turn, and I think he's thinking about... Uh, he has the double sword there, but... I think he realizes that the book race is over, he's not going to win that. So I think he'll skip that, he'll do a reroll of the book. There's no point in having one book. And let's see, he wants swords. Uh, does he, well, he wants stone as well, because then he can build a wonder. I think uh, I think he will reroll these then. I'll see what he gets. So he got a sword, but also a unrest there. Uh, but he did use that reroll, so that means he, right away he can do another action. So he gets to reroll this, and that's two stone. Okay, so now he has some chance to get some points there because he has a bunch of stone. Okay, so it's my turn, and I have my books. I know that I will secure that. I have the sword. Uh, I need four stone though. I only have one. Uh, these could give me stone. 
Uh, but I see that Draco doesn't have much books. I'm already uh, in the lead by two over there. I think I will give up this and this because they can become they can become stone as well. So let's reroll all of these and hope I get at least three stone. And that's two stone, okay. And two swords and two gold. Hmm. Okay, Draco's turn, and now he wants some good wonder. Um. Uh, but let's see, six. Could he get to seven stone? I mean, he could. Um, I think well, he's going to try. He's going to spend two gold, but he's going to use. Well, this one doesn't have any stone. You have to give it on this one. It only has one reroll. <laughs> wow, that could be tricky. But then again, he could always. Yeah, I could change these two in for a stone. So let's can spend two gold, pick up the Eiffel Tower. That's seven stone for ten points, but that's good for him to try to catch up. And then it's my turn. And uh, see, these are okay. So if I get well, I can't reroll anymore anyway. So I have three stone, but I really want to build that. That's five points, right? I have that. Okay, you know what? I'll spend these two as a stone. Of these three, that's four stone, and I got the Taj Mahal built, so. I'm done. And it's Draco's turn. And let's see, he is. And now he can see that I'm. He can. You know, he knows that I will get two books, but yeah, he needs four books to catch up. That's hard. But uh, I think. No, no, he will spend. He will. First of all, he will reroll because he might get a stone here. So he reroll, see if he gets it. And he will reroll this as well because he might get something better. And he got three gold and a sword. With three gold he could buy uh, one point, right? But he wants to he needs to get that finished. So and he rerolled with this so he gets another turn. This is one stone, that's six, that's a total of seven. Draco has built the Eiffel Eiffel Tower. Can you imagine that? This this tiny tiny dragon just built the Eiffel Tower. Really cool. Okay, so it's my turn and now I will pass. And I will take, it doesn't matter, I'll take the book. And uh, yeah, it's Draco's turn, and he will pass. And we'll take a look at, first of all, the bonus tile. I'll, I'll, I had four swords, Draco had two, so I'll get two points from that. Um, then we go to the books, I'll get two, and I'll get two more points for beating Draco on that. I'm really winning, I think. And then... Um, the f none, none of us took care of the food needs, the player order is the same, and now the war, I win the war, I get 4 points, wow, 26. Uh, and then we go to the final scoring, and Draco has, let's see what he has here. Um, he has 2 over there, uh, so 2, 12, 16 points, and that means that he's up to 25, <laughs> and yeah. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 points, which takes me to 28, 30, 38, so 38 against 25, well, Draco, you can't win them all, you know, you don't have to be sad about it, it's just how it is, uh, but this is Nations, the dice game unrest, and I, I just love it, I just love these, these improvements, the double thingy tokens, the green dice, the passing first, get a bonus, the bonus tiles, um, the new, the, all the new nations with their special abilities, special starting conditions. Uh, you can have get gold from. The, it's so much fun, so many new cool stuff, and I think this expansion really, for me, this expansion just popped this game from a nine to a ten. Now it's just, it's so good, <laughs> just so amazing, and it's not just the cult of the new because I've been playing this a few times and I, I, I had high expectations, of course. Uh, after watching the interview with Rustan Håkansson, the designer that Mark did on S, and you can check it out if you haven't. You click the link up there to go to the interview. Uh, really fun stuff where he explains uh, some thoughts about how he wanted to improve the game and so on. Uh, but I'm really, I'm really uh, blown away by this expansion, Unrest for Nations, the dice game. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great evening or morning or whenever you're watching this. Take care. Bye bye. Be like Draco. 
Follow Board Games with Niramas on Facebook at BGW Niramas. Board Games with Niramas is sponsored by Alara Games in Sweden.